what is going on guys my name is senna and welcome back to another video in this video i'm going to be talking about the new rank ascendant in valorant how to reach it and everything that you need to know about it right before we get into this video though guys if you have looked at my community tab at all recently then you would know that my youtube and my valorant account were both hacked as of now i've regained access to both of these accounts and i have them secured so everything is good there it was really annoying to deal with but i'm pretty sure it was some sort of keylogger or script or something internal with my computer that had a trojan which really sucks i'm super grateful and relieved to have access to my accounts again so i just wanted to let you guys know that everything is good there i've been playing the new episode of valorant for a few days now and i've actually really been enjoying it and i'm really looking forward to getting this video out to you guys anyways guys if you do end up enjoying this video or finding it useful don't forget to drop a like down below and also subscribe to the channel if you have not already. With all of that out of the way guys, let's get straight into the video. So if you guys did not already know, Riot has added a new rank into Valorant called Ascendant and this rank is in between Diamond and Immortal. Basically the purpose of adding this new rank is to more evenly distribute the player pool between all of the ranks. Riot mentioned that a lot of the player base is clumped up in certain ranks so this will really help evenly distribute distribute everyone. With the addition of this new rank, it'll change the experience for low elo players and also high elo players as well. I'm going to read you guys a direct quote from Riot that comes from the episode 5 patch notes. We believe our lower ranks have a few too many of you, especially bronze and silver. When we were looking at rank distribution, we realized that if we were to move some of you up out of those lower ranks, it would overpopulate platinum and diamond. So by adding a new rank, we can better distribute you across ranks, keep the prestige of high ranks while helping better define the skill level of each rank. Basically what Riot is saying here is that there are way too many players that are stuck in this low elo, so by adding a new rank in between Diamond and Immortal, it'll make it much easier for those who are stuck in these lower ranks to climb out. And that's actually pretty huge. Since there's an extra rank now, the player pool will be spread out more evenly, which means that anything under Ascendant will feel a little bit easier to climb out of. As for the higher elo players though, this will make Immortal a much more prestigious rank. In theory, Immortal should be harder to reach now, and it'll be a lot more limited to the amount of players that are able to reach it. A lot of people, including myself actually, believe that Immortal kind of lost its prestige status as more and more players were able to reach it. On the NA leaderboards, there was 26,000 Immortals last act, which is significantly more than there was in the acts before that. As more and more people were able to reach Immortal, it slowly started to lose that prestigious status. So with this new rank Ascendant, a lot of those people that were barely hanging on to Immortal will probably be put in that rank. And honestly, I think this is a really healthy change and one of the better changes that Riot has added. I've always felt like there should be a new rank in between Diamond and Immortal and finally seeing Riot implement this is pretty cool to see and it gives us even more of a grind which is always fun. That's basically the rundown on what the new rank is. Now I want to talk about how to actually get this rank and how placements work and stuff like that. So if you were immortal or above last act, the highest rank that you can get placed is Ascendant 1. I personally got placed Ascendant 1 and most of my other friends that were also immortal got placed Ascendant 1 as well. Another important thing to note is to not throw your placement games because your placement games actually matter. I always thought that placement games didn't really matter because I always got placed in the same rank even if I won or lost them, but it was actually confirmed by one of the devs on Twitter that placement games actually do have an effect on your MMR. Evermore on Twitter says that your placement games could be a difference between 50 and 300 RR. So make sure you're treating your placement matches like normal ranked matches and not trying to throw them so that you can just get your rank so you can start ranking up because they actually will make a difference in the long run. 
I've seen some people just throw and FF all of their placement games to get them out of the way so that they can start climbing, but this digs your own hole and makes it much harder in the long run. The next thing I want to talk about is the changes to the solo, duo, trio, and five stack restrictions. So if you guys didn't already know, before episode five, you could only solo, duo, and five stack past diamond three. Once you hit diamond three, you weren't able to trio queue anymore and you were much more restricted on who you could queue with. This restriction has now been pushed back all the way to Immortal 1. This means that if you are Diamond 3, Ascendant 1, Ascendant 2, or even Ascendant 3, you can solo, duo, trio, and 5 stack with no RR loss whatsoever. You do need to note though that you need to be within 3 ranks of everyone within your party to not lose any RR penalty. This means that if you are 5 stacking in Ascendant, everyone in the lobby needs to be between Ascendant 3 and Diamond 3. If you have a Diamond 2 and an Ascendant 3, you will get a minus 25% RR penalty for 5 stacking, so keep that in mind. The main reason why this is important though is for trio queuing. If you've watched some of my other videos, you would know that I love telling you guys that trio queuing is the best way to rank up. It makes it so that you won't go against 5 stacks that likely have smurfs in them, but makes it so that the majority of the team is people that you know and can rely on. The only issue with this method is that once you hit Diamond 3, this is not an option anymore. You can only solo, duo, and 5 stack. With these new changes in Episode 5 though, you can trio queue all the way up to Ascendant 3. This means that it is possible to trio queue your way all the way up to Immortal. This is honestly a huge change and I think the less restrictions you have on these rules, the better it is. So remember guys, if you're struggling to rank up, I would highly recommend getting two buddies that you can really rely on and that are as good or better than you and trio stack with them and you guys can get all the way up to immortal, which is absolutely massive. The next thing that I want to talk about in this video is the new map pool for episode five. In episode five, split has been removed from the competitive map pool. The community has really mixed feelings about this. A lot of people think it's a really bad change but a lot of people think it's a good change. I know I'm going to get some hate for this, but I personally think this is a really good change to Valorant. This might be due to personal bias because Split was personally my least favorite map, but it's also good for the map pool to be constantly changing. I think the main reason why they did this is for pro play because they can have two map bans and still have a best of five. But in terms of ranked, I personally think that also having a constant rotating map pool that isn't too large is also good as well. Riot did mention though that split will return to the map pool in the future and it's not permanently out of the game and it'll likely receive a rework at some point. I think this is really good because I personally think split really needed a rework and I feel like the less maps that are in the game the easier it is to start to master them. I feel like the hardest part of Valorant for new players learning the game is to master all of the maps. With the new map Pearl which will be entering competitive queues soon there will be a total of eight maps which is kind of a lot for new players to learn keeping the game at seven maps makes it so that there's enough variety while also letting people be able to understand all of the maps that they're queuing into split is still going to be in spike rush and other game modes but just not in competitive like I mentioned earlier, this makes it so that pro play is a lot easier to do with their map bans, but also makes it so that the community has a constantly changing map pool. I honestly feel like I've been having a lot of fun with ranked this act, and I feel like a lot of that is due to not getting split. Like I mentioned earlier, I know I'm going to receive hate for that, but it is what it is. Pearl is going to be entering the map pool pretty soon, so if I were you, I would recommend playing at least a few games in the Pearl game mode so you kind of have an understanding of the map because you will be getting it in your ranked games very shortly. And I think that's about everything that I wanted to talk about in this video regarding the new rank. Just to recap some of the key points I mentioned in this video, first of all, this new rank will balance out the rank distribution between players, so if you are in a lower rank, it might feel easier to climb, and if you are in a higher rank, it might feel harder to climb back to where you were. It's also very important to make sure that you're not throwing your placement games and taking them seriously just like their normal ranked games, because they will affect your MMR. If you are immortal or above, you will get placed in Ascendant 1, assuming 
assuming that you do decent in your placement matches. Remember that you can trio queue all the way up to Ascendant 3, and you could actually trio queue from Ascendant 3 to Immortal 1. So make sure that you guys are doing that because I think that's personally the best way to rank up. Also, make sure to keep in mind that Split is no longer in the map rotation and Pearl is going to be added very soon. So make sure that you guys learn and master that map so you will be able to dominate your ranked matches. Make sure you guys go down in the comment section and let me know what you guys think about episode five so far, because honestly, it has been one of the most fun episodes I've played in a while. I actually bought the prelude to Chaos Vandal as soon as I got access to my account. And honestly, it's one of my favorite Vandals and it's super satisfying. I've also heard rumor and seen some clips that Phoenix is actually going to be getting buffed, which is very much needed. And I'll be excited to see those changes. Also, make sure you guys go down in the description of this video and join my community discord server we have a really chill community out there and we'd love to have you i feel like i say this every video but i really do apologize for the lack of videos i just finally got my valorant account back and also my mic broke a couple days ago when i was just about to record a new video so i got this new mic hopefully it sounds good and hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did enjoy the video or found it useful don't forget to drop a like down below and subscribe to the channel for more content just like this thank you so much for taking time out of your day or night to watch this video i love you all and i will catch you in the next one peace out i don't want to talk it up come over to my crib let's fuck it up have no agents so what you doing now you know better than all the girls are found and wait let's just slow it down you always acting for when he's around if you talking shit it's going down if you talking shit oh.